Fishing and boating has, has been a natural family thing for, for myself and, and the Broussard clan that I grew up with. You know, my dad would make P-Rogues and, and mud boats. So I come, you know, kind of came natural to boating and, and fishing. I had the rare opportunity to pass that on to my son, Blake. And, uh, you know, it, it kind of came easy to him. I mean, every summer we spent every day of the summer fishing on that, my dad and I, uh, and he taught me how to drive boats in this style of boat. Now my dad is, is seen in the video early, directing me quietly uh, that the turn is, is happening now and I need to be adjusting for it. Now I didn't see him because I'm fumbling with my GPS. I noticed a little bit too late that the buoy marker that I was heading dead straight forward is in a stump field. That's when I, we went from 60 to zero and, uh, and there was basically, there was nothing keeping us in the boat. But I had to find my dad, right? I knew he was close. Uh, I felt him almost the whole way out of the boat. Um, but I turned over my right shoulder and he was there. Within five seconds, both of our jackets had deployed. Right? They were automatic style. And uh, panic went through my mind, right? I, I'm embarrassed, I'm ashamed, I can't believe this happened. I don't know how hurt my dad is. I don't know how hurt I am. When I came up, of course, I immediately started looking for Blake and, and found him, you know, he was about 10 yards away from me, um, and then looked for the boat and was surprised to see the boat's motor was still running and that the boat was still moving. And, and that was when the revelation went off for me that um, this, this was a much worse situation than we just got blown out of the boat. I see the boat right ahead of me and it, it's coming right for me. We realized really quickly, like, we have to get out of the way of this boat, you know? And uh, it's not easy to, to figure out where the boat's gonna go. The kill switch is something that you should never, ever actually have to use. And, uh, but it's there such that when you do need it, it's, it, it deploys properly and that means it needs to be connected to your body and, and not taken for granted. And we normally do that. We normally use kill switches. We always use our PFDs. We had just caught a large fish. That's five, five, six. That day I was distracted, my mind wasn't there, and I was complacent. Luckily, there were a father and son fishing team and uh, they, the dad picked us up and transferred us over where we were both in, uh, we were two separate boats. And we're looking at it and we're wet and we're cold. And uh, the guy says, you know, what do we do now? That boat holds 60 gallons of fuel. And at that RPM, we were at about 3000 RPM. It could have probably driven itself in a circle for the next 20 hours. I got lucky that I was able to span that distance and that boat driver was able to, as somebody said, uh, Blue Angel himself close enough to the boat that I was able to jump in. But that, that was a, a one of one. I don't know if, if given the same situation that I could have done that twice. I think the message here is definitely keep all of the, the safety equipment that you have on board to keep you from falling out of the boat. But if you find yourself in the situation that I found myself in, and you can think of anything other than jumping back into your own boat, you should probably do that. You know, you can have a number of uh, bad events if you become complacent with any of the, these high-speed performance bass boats. I always have my kill switch hooked up. If that engine starts without my kill switch on, I ain't the one driving it. You know, it took me, it took me a year and a lot of encouragement from a lot of people to post that video because I was, 
I was fearful of the negative feedback that I would get. I was, I was fearful that I'd be seen as a, as a renegade or a, you know, this guy on the water who doesn't know what he's doing and you know, doesn't care. And I just hope that maybe there's that one guy that reminds his you know, young son to put that, that life jacket on or put that kill switch on because of this and he can visually show his son or his friend or even himself that you know, this could happen to anybody.